So in today's 3D anatomy series, we are going to have a look at the ethmoid bone or the bone which demands seniors attention. Why is it so? Just because it is close to important structure, one of the important structure being brain, which is situated here. And actually speaking, it is a very thin bone. From one view, it does look like a nose or does it look like a bucking dummy? It does actually. So, ethmoid bone has got three parts, cribriform plate, the perpendicular plate and the ethmoid labyrinth. The cribriform plate is a very thin horizontal structure and it harbors a lot of foramina. So from this foramina, olfactory nerve traverses. So whenever if there is any structure or occlusion in this area, the patient may complain about anosmia. The brain is situated over here. The cribriform plate forms the roof of the nasal cavity and floor of the anterior cranial fossa. Now looking at the perpendicular plate, the perpendicular plate is situated in the sagittal plane. It forms the posterior nasal septum and it has a structure called as crista galli. The crista galli provides attachment to the falx cerebri. So whenever we are doing endoscopic craniectomy or craniofacial facial resection, we need to excise this area. The third thing is the ethmoid labyrinth. Ethmoid labyrinth separates the orbit and the nasal cavity. So this forms the medial border of the orbit. Ethmoid labyrinth has got air cells, the anterior ethmoid cells over here, the middle and the posterior goes over here. This is the orbital plate and this is the middle turbinate. As seen in previous uh, anatomical video, as we go superior, the bony component decreases. So inferior turbinate has got maximum bony component. The middle turbinate has got relatively lesser and superior turbinate has got very minimal. If this gets pneumatized, it will form a concha or a concha. We need to understand that whenever there is a deviated septum or any deviation of the bone, we should not be addressing more than upper two-third. The reason being is the chances of injury to the cribriform is high and that can lead to iatrogenic CSF leak. Thank you for listening. Please do like, share and subscribe.